Hello everyone, this is Rushira. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be very simple. I will show you how to make a data frame, a pandas data frame from a list or dictionary. And today's video will focus on how to make a single indexed data frame. So it's even simpler. In my next video, I will show you how to make multi-indexed data frame. Well, so first import pandas as pd oh sorry and then import numpy as np well then let's generate some data so first i will make some lists because i will show you how to make data frame from list first map reading so 45 that big uh it's too low that's fine some people can get low score it's normal 73 and writing okay writing um how much 88 90 uh then 70 and 82 so these are my data i have uh, score of four students and we have three subjects you can see I have four uh, elements in each list okay first data frame pd dot uh, data frame sorry so we put these three list in the in a list map reading writing well this is our data frame so we have four students so the four columns and three subjects of three rows so there should be some column name right the students i'm saying four students who are the students so d dot columns uh, maybe those students are bob uh, lily uh, Lily and, and David and the rows 0, 1, 2 instead of 0, 1, 2 we should put uh, data index sorry again we should put the name of the subjects math reading and writing now look at D. So this is how our, how our D looks now. It's just a perfect simple data frame, right? We have very clear understanding of which score belongs to who and for which what subject, right? Well, if the data is a two-dimensional list, look, we have three one-dimensional list. Instead, we may have three one-dimensional list in another list that that makes it a, a two-dimensional list math reading and writing right if the data comes in this format it's even easier right okay this is course so pd dot data frame just pass the score here we had to put it in the list because they're all one dimensional list so here it's two dimensional list data frame is two dimensional by default so we passed scores then let's put the column names let's now put the index well this is the data frame okay, if you want simply just save it in d again and this is the data frame so these are the three subjects and four students now let's try it with dictionary okay if you are following my videos i made this before so dictionary just key value pairs 
The key is the column name. So column name, I'm putting math. So I'm changing it a bit now. Before we had the column name students and three subjects. So we if we have 20 students, we will have 20 columns. But the uh, room, I mean, number of rows stays the same, math, reading, and writing. Uh, I feel like uh, it would be nicer or it's, it's intuitive to put the subject name uh, as a column, subjects as the column, and we have the students as the row, so we can have more rows than columns. Okay, so math. Though it's not a rule that we have to have more rows than columns, it's just intuitive to me. And it makes handling the data easier. If we want to make visualizations or other stuff, I find it nicer format when we have the kind of format like that. Here, the writing. Okay. This is the dictionary math, reading, and writing. So this time, pd.data frame, we just pass this dictionary. Okay. And we already have the column names because these keys are the column names. And, but we do not have the, okay, let's see. We do not have the uh, index names. So this time index name is our students. So let's put the index as our student names. Here it is. Math, reading and writing and Bob, Lily, Lily, David. So well, this is our single index data frame. That's all I wanted to show you today. So. My next video is going to be how to make the multi-index data frame so where you will get a little more clearer picture or you can adjust more data in one data frame. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.